So what I'm trying to say, my friends, in this video with this white knighting, if you're kind of confused by the title, is this. In Call of Duty Black Ops 3, there's out of spot glitches, out of map glitches, there's specialist glitches, there's all kinds of fucking glitches. And what people are doing is they're making videos trying to expose these glitches, saying that, hey, Treyarch, we need to fix this, don't forget to like the video so we can expose this guys and get Treyarch's attention so they can glitch this spot or whatever, patch this glitch, sorry, fuck that up, whatever, continuing on, and mistakes, whatever. So that's what they're trying to do. But at the end of the day, Treyarch knows about the glitches, Treyarch knows about the hacks, Treyarch knows about the bullshit, and all they're doing is drawing more attention to the fucking problems and how to cheat because guaranteed people watch that video say oh shit i didn't know about this thanks such and such youtube channel with a lot of subscribers i'll just search youtube now how the fuck to actually do this glitch and i'll get it done and i know you got more people doing the glitch or more fucking horse shit and in fact they're just trying to pretend like they're white knights but they're actually just making the problem worse and lining their own fucking pockets but then, you know, all these fucking issues that take place in the game, these dudes do it to get views. And like I said, they come across like they're trying to be fucking heroes, but they're just actually self-serving cunts. So it's kind of, uh, you know, I mean, like, I ain't mad at you. I understand the hustle. I know you're trying to get big on YouTube. I know you're trying to fucking make money. And that's cool and all. But, like, at the end of the day, it's still fucking a dill bullshit move. It's like, I hate doing hit and tip videos because why the hell would I give hit and tips? I mean, I know I'm not a huge channel. getting close to 10,000. The grind to 10,000 is real, bitches. Woo! Don't forget to cock smack that like button. Woo! And I understand you're trying to get big on YouTube. And, but at the end of the day, like, guys with bigger channels uh, give hit and tips to people that they actually have to go up against. And you don't think it affects the game? It's like, for example, I watched video playing free-for-all and you know he talks about using tracker and using this i've never seen tracker much before in call of duty now the guy's got 700,000 subscribers so obviously he gets 100,000 views that's a lot of fucking people watching the video and of course the percentage of that are going to use what he says to use so now all of a sudden i'm seeing guys out there running tracker and free-for-all doing things that people talk about and it's just like oh my god shut up man there's got to be other things you can do a video about besides giving people fucking hint and tips and telling them how to fucking beat the rest of us i mean I mean, come on, man. Just, you know what? Get, get, shut up. Just shut up. And also people who make videos about, like, you know, exposing glitches. You're just exposing the glitch even more because motherfuckers are going to go search that on YouTube. You're not helping anything. I know you're just trying to make the fucking YouTube money, bitches. So come on. Stop with the horseshit white knighting. Talk about something else. I don't know. I seem to seem to do it. I did do a hidden tip once, but like at the end of the day, I didn't do another one because I thought about it. What the fuck am I doing? I'm providing hints and tips to the enemy. And I mean, not saying you guys are the enemy, but you know what the fuck I'm saying, guys. I think you're smart enough to figure out what the hell I'm talking about here. So these white nighters. Also, by uh, I just killed that dude uh, with the gold specialist and the dark metal try hard. Goddamn guy plays way too much Call of Duty. Uh, this guy, boom, gets shot in the face with your own guns. Pick these things up. God, they're a lot of fun. But remember in Black Ops 1 or Black Ops 2, rather? I can't remember if it was Black Ops 1, but I know for sure Black Ops 2 used to get DLC guns for fucking free. Or not free, but when you bought the map pack. Remember the Peacemaker? Yeah. What the fuck happened to that? Imagine they put these guns in the game for people to use for free when you, well, look, get smacked, bitch. I don't fucking believe in being that woman, but goddamn, I'm going to make an exception for you. And then I get killed by uh, Robin Hood, or Robin Hood as in, as in the asexual female. Bill. God, choking on a dick there. Sorry, guys. Hey, whatever. Fuck it. Random tangent. Back to the point at hand. I win this free-for-all. I use some DLC fucking guns against the guy who bought them or somehow won them or who fucking knows how he acquired them. They're awesome, but unfortunately, you got to spend a thousand dollars to be able to get them, it seems like, and that's fucking horseshit. And also, people doing videos trying to pretend to come across as if they're goddamn saving the world, but in fact, they're just lining their own pockets and making things worse. Go fuck yourself. That's the point of this whole video. Thank you for watching. Be cool, stay in school, say no drugs. Look well, living for crossing the streets, help prevent forest fires, brush your flaws regularly to help promote healthy oral hygiene. And always, and most importantly, stay black and don't let the crack of honky motherfuckers bring you down. I'm a thought to cock a gold. Thank you for watching.